Hello everyone, uh, it's Noah on behalf of eBitcoin XTV and uh, once again, it's actually this is going to be a very quick and a very short training. Um, those of you that would want to learn how to get your own transaction ID on blockchain.info wallet, you know a lot of people are having very difficult when um, talking about the fact that they are very new to the blockchain technology and Bitcoin and even getting their transaction ID them sometimes is a very, it's a very difficult task. So this video is actually going to show you how to access or get your transaction ID for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and probably Bitcoin Cash. It's actually the same principle for all of these wallets. And the first thing you would want to do, actually, I'm going to share my video screen. I'm going to share my video screen, okay? And then I teach you directly what we're going to do. All right, so I put this video, I put this video down. Yeah, don't worry, that's my video. Uh, so uh, a transaction ID is actually something that validates or verifies or signs a validity to your Bitcoin transaction, to your Ethereum transaction or whatever. It becomes like, sound like a signed signature confirming if this is actually coming from this direction, you know, something like that. And um, it, it, it verifies whichever transaction you send, you receive. Or, you know, sometimes you can do a transaction with somebody and a person will say, oh, I need your transaction ID to verify, blah. You just need to submit it. And then, how do you get it, especially for blockchain that info wallets? Now, the first thing you want to do is actually to log in to your blockchain wallet, whether you are using a phone, a PC, whatever platform you are using, you just uh, can use that to do that. And, for example, if it's a Bitcoin transaction ID you are searching for, the first thing you want to do on the dashboard is to click on Bitcoin which means you have to access the Bitcoin wallet, okay? And once you click on Bitcoin, it opens the number of Bitcoin transactions you've actually been doing. And let's say um, you just did this, uh, you just transacted this one, and you want to get a transaction ID for this one. What you have to do is just to click over here, okay, on this small arrow close to send or maybe receive. You click on the arrow over here, it will pop up some, you know, some options for you. And over here, you will see transaction confirmed. If the transaction is actually are waiting confirmation on blockchain or miners waiting to actually verify the transaction for it to be valid on the chain you will see unconfirmed over your pending or you know sounds like that anything that you see over here that informs you that the transaction is actually confirmed or not confirmed and well, whether it is a send a transaction or not a send transaction what you need to do is actually um once you open the transactions invoice openly you can see this is an example of a transaction uh, over here. You can see this is, uh, for example, uh, a three hundred dollar transaction over here, and uh, it was transacted on the twenty sixth at seven fifty three p.m. Whatever to this Bitcoin wallet address, we don't even know. We don't, anonymously, we don't know who actually is enjoying or received the transaction. So basically, you have to click on this arrow over here. You see, as soon as you point your cursor on it, you see verify on blockchain that info. It's actually a link. This you can find it on the on your phone when you are using the blockchain app, or maybe the web interface on the phone, or even on your PC. You can find it almost everywhere. So it's the same principle, the same steps um, you need to follow for all blockchain that info platforms. You understand? So you click on this um, link over here, verify on blockchain that info, and then it will redirect you to blockchain. You know the the, the blockchain hash website whereby you, you, you can verify all the transactions that are actually passing on the chain and this will directly directly to your it will lead you directly to your own transaction and this over here becomes your transaction ID you understand this over here you see transaction view or the whatever blah this um, this algorithm you see becomes your transaction ID or basically if you want um, you can just copy the entire URL over here or you just study um, if you check on the URL over here, this funny stuff you see over here is actually your transaction ID. All right, and you can realize you can you, you realize that is the same thing you you click on over here. And then when you transact Bitcoin or Ethereum, it's actually broadcasted to, um, over different channels, and these channels can actually combine more than one transaction on the same transaction hash. So probably if you want your transaction ID and you don't want to conflict any interest of copying any wrong transaction ID, you just can uh, basically, from your blockchain wallet, okay, 
that's the best and then that's the shortest way for you to access these stuff and just from your blockchain wallet whether it is a send transaction or whether it is a received transaction you click on um, transaction confirmed over here okay uh, verify or blockchain like that info you click on it it will redirect you realize this hash is actually the combination of this hash is different from the combination of this hash yeah? so every transaction comes with its own unique transaction id and this is actually for bitcoin if you don't want any confusion what you can do is just to copy this url and use it for whatever reference you want to do for example let's say if you are placing a sale order on ebitcoinis.com or maybe you you transacted with somebody that would want to actually receive a copy of your transaction id to verify if indeed you were the sender of the transaction or whatever you know it, it makes sense and for ethereum what you need to do is also click on ether wallet in blockchain that info and for the same step we did with bitcoin you have to click on for example um the, the you have to click on this small arrow for it to actually give you the transaction details and once you get the transaction details what you need to do is um for example i want to um, check on the transaction ID for this transaction on the 18th around 10 90 p.m you know something like that what you need to do is to verify on ether scan you realize for bitcoin transactions it was verify on blockchain that info but for bitcoin for ethereum transactions you see verify on ether scan and it makes sense because bitcoin is having a different blockchain ethereum is also having a different blockchain any coin out there is also having its own chain you understand so basically you just have to get used to some of these stuff for ethereum transaction mostly we use um etherscan because it's the most popular chain though you can use many of this you know like bitcoin you can use um the live explorer you know like a whole lot you can use chains but we use blockchain because it's very easy and we are accessing directly from the wallet and for ethereum it will redirect you to etherscan so let's have a look at how a tr an ethereum transaction also looks like so you click on verify on ether scan okay you point your cursor you see the pop out if you don't want to see that you just click on this small arrow over here and then it will open up a redirection for you and this is a transaction hash for ethereum you see how funny it looks the algorithm the combination is very funny but you realize that there is a very huge difference between an ethereum address and also a bitcoin address you see this over here file with something like ef and this one f47 something and the ethereum smart transaction tra uh, starts with its own um height you know something like how it looks like and stuff like what you can do and you know based on how the chain works so this is a this transaction every detail you want to see on the transaction this is the value as at when it was received you can click over here and the current value and everything is very transparent nobody can ever take anything away from you and it's for everybody else and it's the same thing so you just need to copy your transaction hash over here or simply you copy the url it, it redirected you to and it's the same thing yes baby it's the same thing with any other uh, chain you can copy the url or simply you copy the direct transaction id hello i'll come okay i'll come in and then for bitcoin cash you have to talk about bitcoin cash because we have bitcoin cash over here to in blockchain that info we have to talk about all these stuff you know so you click on bitcoin cash whichever transaction you did you click on the, um, the same arrow over here you click on the redirected url and it will just redirect you to blockchain where you can have a look at your transaction ID for Bitcoin Cash related transaction. And for every coin out there, Dash, uh, Monero, all these coins come with its own unique transaction ID. And guys, this is as simple as ABC. And when you check over here, you can simply copy the direct URL as usual, or you copy the transaction hash itself. And this is it, you know, it's, it's just been predicted or whatever, but you can just copy it in you're good to go you know <laughs> you're good to go and so guys thank you so much you can follow us you subscribe to our channel ebconics tv um you learn a whole lot we give you practical information stuff that you need to learn about um this industry and all that follow us on twitter at ebconics uh facebook to us ebconics but subscribe to this channel share this video to as much as people as you can for your team everybody that is wanting to learn some of these stuff you can just share thank you so much and then I'll see you some other time, guys. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.